Hey everybody, it's Moonbow here, and welcome back to some more Endless Scrap Mechanic. It's time for Top of the Shop series, where we take a look at the best builds from the past week on the Steam Workshop. And it's always a great time, always loads of fun, getting inspired with really cool builds. And I want to thank everybody for checking out the Air Submarine with the Fan Mod. If you missed that video, I'm going to leave a link up in the top corner there of your screen. You can take a look at that after the video. It's a really cool submarine that allows you to walk around underwater. Now, there's lots of really Really cool stuff to check out though, so let's get started. First up on the lift, we've got the Honda CB4X sport bike created by Tomatsu. Now, Tomatsu is a really, really good builder, and this bike is really interesting. Uh, like, first of all, it's extremely compact. The size of this thing is just really impressive, but it has a really special feature here that allows for it to jump. So it makes it like a really good stump bike. Just watch this. If I press five, it just does its own automatic little jump and you can just keep on pressing five over and over again and you just keep on bunny hopping. It's just so cool. Now for the stabilizer, it of course has some suspension glitches as well as for the turning, which is really kind of necessary in some way with a motorcycle in scrap mechanic. But this one of course is just absolutely stable and oh my God, you can do some some really weird wheelies. Now I'm wondering if I can maybe utilize this bunny hopping for like some really cool stunt stuff, maybe using some of these rock faces here because this is like a sport bike, but it, because the fact that it has bunny hopping, it makes it feel like it's more of a dirt bike. Now I don't know if maybe I can oh, get some speed here first. This is interesting. Okay, here we go. We're gonna just line up to the rock. We're gonna go forward, get the bunny hop. And we're up, we're on it. Oh, there we go, another bunny hop. Oh, look at that. Wow, okay, that is so cool. So this bike is just extremely stable. The fact that it has that like built-in bunny hop, look at that, like it's just, it adds something so unique to a motorcycle that I haven't seen before. I highly recommend you check out this motorcycle. And next up, we're gonna check out Paul. His name is Paul and it's created by Raheen. Now this looks like it, it might be some type of walker. Okay, oh, it's a little bit smaller than I was expecting. Let's see here, okay, whoa. Okay, whoa, Paul, Paul, please. Calm down, Paul. Wait, what, do I just, do I get in Paul? Okay, we're just gonna, we're gonna hop inside of Paul here. There we go, okay. Now, Paul is dancing, and we're gonna try and take control here. Okay, wait, no, I'm in a toilet seat, there's no steering. So one, Oh my, okay, one is just moving us forward in any direction. I don't know which direction. It's just kind of thinking on its own. It's it's Paul after all here. And okay, two is backwards. Okay, Paul is moonwalking now. And three is, I don't, what, I, I did, did I, did I just jump or, okay, I think three is jump. So yeah, I guess, um, I guess we're Paul now and this is our life. Now I can't, I can't steer it. I don't think there's any steering. We're just kind of at the mercy of where Paul wants to go. I want to go off that jump. Come on, Paul. We want that jump. No, the jump is to the right. So I've got really no control over Paul aside from going forwards and backwards. But I think this is this is a piston engine down here controlling these legs. And I believe it's credited to Khan's piston engine design. So this is a really weird implementation for a piston engine. Uh, and I mean, it's not really something I would expect. And next up, we're gonna be checking out a Leopard 2A6 Zane created by Zane. Now this looks like a really epic tank that is loaded full of detail and oh yeah, look at that cannon. So let's see here, where is the entrance? Oh, look at these really nice kind of openings here. Now I don't see any seats at all where I'm looking. Okay, there's a seat. Okay, we're in now. Oh my, look at this. There's a little thing on the top that's like a little viewing camera and it's following my mouse's movement right now. That is so cool. Now, can I go around in front? Oh yeah, look, so there's like a lens on the front of it. Oh, that's so interesting. So I didn't read any instructions, so we're just gonna figure this out together now, of course. Oh yeah, W, A, S, and D controls our tank, just like so. Okay, that's nice and simple. Now one, oh my, wow, okay, one is the cannon. That is a lot of power in front of that, wow. Now just for a full on proper test here, let's see what happens to that tree. Oh my, look at that. That thing 
is crazy. Now, let's see, what is three? We're gonna press three, oh, wow. And I can keep controlling it, wow, this is so cool. This is a camera on the turret, and now if we press four, we have the camera on the top, and oh, look at this, so this is the thing that was following the mouse before. Wow, this is so cool. So we can like still, yeah, look at that, we can still control the tank, and we're controlling this little camera. Okay, so being in the camera while controlling the tank is a little disorienting. Let's see if we can't maybe hit like a target here. Let's try and hit that sign at the top like so. Oh my, wow, look at that. Okay, it's hard to see the shot because the explosion is just so epic on this thing. But let's see if we can't take a tree down. All right, here we go. Moving tank shot right at the tree. Oh yeah, look at that. All right, so next up, we've got the Biplane 2 created by... Oh man, that was an interesting name to pronounce. Uh, so this is using the wing mod by the looks of it, so I think it should be a relatively easy plane to fly. Now, ooh, it's looking really cool. It looks like it has a propeller on the front, and I don't think there's really... Oh yeah, there's no thrusters, so all of the power seems to be coming from the front there. Now, one thing to note about flying planes in Scrap Mechanic is everyone always seems to have their own control method, uh, so it can be interesting to learn. Okay, let's see here. I gotta start using the calculator to uh, set up. So let's see, we've got A and D for the roll, okay, and... W and S is gonna control that, alright, so I guess we're just gonna try five. That seems to be what we need. And two and three is yaw. Okay, really good. Oh, wow, look at this. This thing is really nice. Now, it's flying nice and slow. I love that the speed is not too much that we can't handle it. Now, I think it might be best if we set up our camera on strict follow cam. Okay, here we go. We're gonna go in between these trees. Oh, wow. So this is just absolutely easy to fly. It's all W, A, S, and D for the flight controls, which makes it extremely easy to pick up and just fly around in. Now, let's see if the yaw does a lot of stuff here. Oh yeah, look at that. We've got the yaw. It's starting to kind of control the plane a little bit to the left, and if we go the other way, oh yeah. You can see though it is fighting all of the other wings trying to go straight, which is really interesting. Now let's see, can we do a really nice roll? Okay, this might not be a good idea. We're gonna have to control it a little bit. Expert flying here. Okay, there we go, we pulled it off. Now let's see if we can't go upside down. We're gonna do the old upside down test. Okay, hold on, I might have stalled it. Oh no, I've stalled the plane, we didn't have enough speed. I should be able to regain control though, okay, yeah, there we go. And of course, we gotta do the old first-person test here. This is obviously a standard thing to do, and look at this. This view looks so good. I love seeing the propeller there spinning around nice and fast. Now, I wanna try and do a little trick here. I wanna go under, whoa, underneath. Okay, well, this is not exactly how I envisioned it, but we have gone underneath the pipe. And we're gonna put it to the test here. We're going into the cave, into the cave, don't hit the walls, we're gonna hit the walls, and we hit the wall, that's, that's honestly my own fault. So now we're at the bottom of a canyon, so why not grab the canyon arrow, I mean grab the Range Rover with no mods created by CJ, so this looks like a really useful vehicle for us right now, now ooh, look at this, this thing is looking... Pretty good, this is all vanilla as well. So why don't we hop into the driver's seat here. We do need to get out of this canyon. Okay, hold on. The parking brake is disengaged. We're going all the way down. Now let's just control this. Control it. We're gonna go to the right here. Let's just ease it back. Now there's a lot of buttons and switches here, so why don't we check those out first. So we got one, that is the door. Two is the hood. Oh, look at that. We got an engine on the inside there, as well as a tote bot head. Three is the back. Oh, with even more seating there. Four is the horn. And then five is, oh, five, five is the foldable mirrors. Just because, you know, this thing is, if it's not too big already, you can make it a little bit smaller by folding in these mirrors. All right, so here we go. We're gonna take this thing out of the canyon. Let's see how it handles this little section here. Now, this is a pretty easy section, though. There's nothing too bumpy. There is gonna be a pretty steep hill coming up here pretty soon. Now, I don't think we have any headlights, so, um, you know, that's not very good for dark spots like this, but okay, here we go. This is the test. We're going up the hill. 
Can the canyon arrow do it? Okay, well, this thing is quite large and I don't even think it's capable of getting out of this canyon. Come on, we got this. Just a little bit further and we made it to daylight. Oh, wow, okay. We made it out. So this thing is just absolutely massive. I mean, look at the size of me here, but I guess at the end of the day, this is really more to scale than anything, really. And this week, the top of the shop has been Rick Rolled. Now, I think the original video has just set like a new record for how many views it's received. So, I mean, the Rick Roll is just, it's a timeless thing on the internet at this point. So we've got this, it's created by Trixies1, and this is the Rick Rolled pixel art. Now, let's see here. This is made of wood. We're gonna take a really close look at it here, just to really appreciate what we're about to see now. If we back up, oh man, look at that. We've got the Rick Roll here in the world, and okay, I think it would probably be best if we go on the sun side. And would you look at that? This is the Rick Roll. Now, I'm pretty sure there's some programs that allow for this kind of pixel-generated artwork to be put into Scrap Mechanic, but nonetheless, it's here, it's in the game now, and you can spawn this in in your friends' worlds, and I mean, you know what you're gonna do. So I've been in the mainland for too long now. It is time for a road trip to the water and we're gonna use this house on wheels to get there. Now this was created by Recret777 and it's it's a house on wheels. So I mean, we can, we can live in this thing and we can also travel in this thing. Now I'm pretty sure this is all vanilla as well and it looks absolutely awesome. Wow, some crazy suspension going on in the back of this house here. Now let's just open up the, whoa, okay, I thought it was opening and closing on me. Now that's a really interesting door style, but here we go. We're gonna hop inside of our house on wheels here. And look at that, we got the bed in the back. Wow, that is such a great usage of the lights from the survival. And then I guess over here, this must be like a shower or maybe a bathroom. Okay, yeah, it is definitely a bathroom. I don't know if there's a shower in here. There's not too much space in here. It's, it's pretty tight, but wow, look at the front here. This is like a really nice wooden style finished on the interior. And we've also got a sink in the middle. Wow, so there's all sorts of really cool stuff. Now, if I press that switch, what's gonna happen? Ooh, look at that. It just opened up the back window, wow. So we're gonna take this thing for a spin to the water. Now, when we're in the truck here, we can get a really nice third person view of the exterior and look at all the detail work that went to the top of this truck. It looks so cool. Now, here we go. We're gonna take this to the water. Oh, wow. Okay, the turning radius on this is not very good either. So it's really feeling like we're driving a house right now. So, okay, I don't know where the water is. I'm kind of just driving in any old direction here, but it looks like we should eventually get there. Okay, some obstacles here. This truck is handling really well. Okay, almost tipped it. Oh, yeah, this thing, though, it's driving really smoothly. Now, we are gonna kind of go a little off-road here. We are finally at our vacation destination. It is the water, and that's because, of course, I want to take out my really nice boats. Now, here we go. We're gonna just pull up nice and close to the water here, and we're pretty much just, we're gonna camp it out. All right, so now that we're at the water, we're gonna be checking out a couple boats, and the first one is the Edmund Fitzgerald. Now, this is a ship that sank. The history is right here in the description. This is created by Adam Cunning. So, the Edmund Fitzgerald, there's a great song actually written about it as well, so I'm excited to take a look at this in Scrap Mechanic. Now, I think this thing is absolutely massive. Oh my, okay, I, I don't know if this is gonna fit in the water here. So I've got it on my lift. I'm gonna swim it out to the middle of this ocean. Now this ocean is not deep at all. So I'm not too sure what's gonna happen here. And I don't even know if this thing can float or not. So let's see. All right, everything's good. We get rid of it. Oh man, it's going. Okay, it's working. Now bringing out the connection tool, I can see that there is hardly anything going on with this ship. Now it's absolutely Massive, I cannot believe how large it is. So let's get rid of that and wow, look at this. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go all the way up to the front or what I think is the front anyway. And we're gonna check out what is going on here. So, okay, we've got a really nice smokestack. There's a giant interior here. Okay, so there's not a lot of detail work, but I can imagine why. And that of course is because, I mean, just look 
at the size of this boat. Okay, I think this is the aft end of the ship because you can see the flag is flying in that direction. So we're gonna run across this entire thing all the way to the other end. This is probably the biggest ship I have ever seen in Scrap Mechanic. Like, I mean, I, I feel like I'm running a marathon just going from one side to the other. So here we are, we are in the bridge and it looks like we got a pretty decent view of the surrounding area. Now I'm kind of nervous to pilot such a massive ship. I don't even know what to expect. How is this thing? There's like no thrusters. How is it going to move? There we go. One is moving us forward. Okay, this thing is fast. We even have a speedometer at the top here. We're going 24 kilometers an hour right now. Now, one thing I am curious about is what is going on with these giant, like what are they, tanks or something? I'm kind of curious to see. If there's anything inside here, oh wow, I'm kind of scared to go in here. Let's take a look though. We're going to drop in. Oh wow, just look at the size of this space. And in case you were wondering, this entire ship is powered by space rockets. No wonder it's so good with so few. And we've got another boat to take a look at. This is a sailboat with no mods created by Lucy Digger. Now, I absolutely love boats in this game now that we have water in creative mode. Uh, so I'm really excited to check this out, especially since it is a more traditional style boat with the sail and everything. So the first thing I see is we have a single thruster back here and it's on a turning bearing. I love that the controller is directly off of the bearing as well. There's not a single part wasted in that setup. So we can go down into the boat here. Look at that. Okay, we get our ankles a little wet, but that's not a big deal. And I mean, whoever has the bottom bunk, uh, they might get a little soggy, but that's all right. This thing looks absolutely awesome. It's really cozy as well. I really love the aesthetic in here, though. It's feeling really good now. Okay, so the sail, obviously, you know, there is no wind in the game, so the sail won't be really doing anything, but I love that it's using the carpet block. It's giving it that really nice canvas kind of effect here. But now we're just going to hop right into the seat here. There's no buttons or switches, so that means I guess W is going to just move us forward, is it? Okay, yeah, it is. Now, it's really not fast at all. Now, what happens if we turn to the left? Ooh, look at that. We start moving a little bit to the left, and we go a little bit to the right, and is this... Is this our max speed? Now, despite it not being fast at all, the aesthetic of this boat is absolutely perfect. The interior is just so cozy and, you know, I just, I want to leisurely stroll around in the water just all day long. And the last creation we're going to take a look at today is the 500 miles per hour created by Rip. Now, okay, I guess, am I to presume that this vehicle will be going 500 miles per hour? I don't know, but it does look like a really awesome drag racing vehicle. Just look at that. And look, there's like a single piece of suspension on the front here. Wow, that looks really cool. So I guess we're just going to hop into this seat right here. It looks like there are some mods loaded in. Okay, we do have a speedometer, which means we can confirm whether or not this thing goes to 500 miles per hour. Okay, hold on. This thing, okay, I have a feeling it might go up to 500 miles per hour. Now, what is one? Is that like a parachute on the back? There is a parachute. Okay, I, I don't know exactly how that works exactly, but I think what we're gonna have to do is test whether or not ooh, this thing goes 500 miles per hour. All right, here we go. In three, two, one, and we go. Okay, yeah, this is going fast. It's going really fast. The land is not flat. Okay, now we're flying. The land is not flat enough to test this. Okay, maybe I should probably be in flat land, but you know what? I believe it. We're going 400. We were just going 400 and something kilometers an hour there. Okay, we're going to try that again, but this time we're just going to keep it a little more under control here. Okay, I'm, I'm lying. I'm lying. We're not keeping it under control. Now, you know what, though? There is no doubt in my mind that if we were on a flat land right now, like, just look at this. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we hit 530. We are cruising. Oh, wow, we're also a boat. Now, can this thing... Oh, yes, maybe we can just ride the wall. Here we go. And now we're going to go up. And yes, we are on the wall. Wow, okay, this thing is just so good that it can ride on walls. Okay, this is not what I was expecting. And there we go, we're going 500, 600... Now let's see if we can bring this thing back down. Okay, is this a plane or a drag racer? I'm not I'm not 100% certain here, but here we go. 
We're gonna point it down. Let's see if we can break the record of this vehicle. 600. Oh, yeah, we hit 700. Wow, so this drag racer is incredibly fast. It's extremely stable. The one thing I might say is uh, you might want to change the name from 500 miles per hour to 700 miles per hour. So that is going to be the video for today. I sure hope you enjoyed it. These builds are always loads of fun to check out and always extremely inspiring. If you guys did enjoy it, then make sure you leave a like on the video. And if you want to tune in for some more Endless Scrap Mechanic, then be sure to subscribe to the channel and maybe even turn on some notifications so you can get the latest and the craziest coming from me in Scrap Mechanic. So thank you so much for tuning in and I will be seeing you in the next one. So bye for now.